welcome back to Mini Monolog. If you've not been here before, I do unboxings for Warhammer Underworlds, Age of Sigma, 40k, Blood Bowl, there's also some Guild Ball and some Malifaux on the channel, so plenty for everyone to see. Go check out my playlist um, where you can see all that good stuff. But if you want to stick around for now, this is my What Have I Bought This Month video. So in this video, I talk about what I've bought, I talk about all the new stuff out there, um, community-wise, and also what's going on with the channel, what am I up to, what, what am I busy doing? So, let's get started. What I bought this month is Warhammer Underworld's Night Vault. Now, I was not going to buy this until I completed the painting of the original Warbands from Shadespire, and I did cover all of Shadespire. If you've not seen that, if you're a new player to Warhammer Underworlds and you're thinking about getting Night Vault, check out the videos later this month. But if you want to check out what you already missed, Shades Bar will be popping up in the corner in a minute, which has all the unboxings I did for that game. Well, it's the same game, but just a... Yeah, you get the point. So, Warhammer Underworld's Night Vault. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. I get two new boards, which, I, which, which is great. I get two new, more warbands to paint, which I'm really happy about. New cards, dice, all good stuff. So, check that out later this month. <coughs> Excuse me. So, moving on. News. Warhammer Community News. So, I'll talk about the pre-orders that are up at the moment. I'll talk about a little bit of news which I thought was awesome. So, pre-orders up at the moment are for Wake the Dead, which is a new 40k box set, and two of the kill teams, which are both Necron and Tau. Now, let's get into the 40k box set first. Am I happy about this? Not really. Why? Because we've only just had Tooth and Claw. I do feel, personally, that recently Games Workshop have been unloading so much stuff on us. I mean, you've got... Kill Team, um, Kill Team Rogue Trader, Night Vault, Titanicus. You know, the list is endless of stuff that they've they've been releasing, which is great because, I mean, I love models as much as the next man, but I kind of think with the Kill Teams, with Wait the Dead, sorry, you've got an issue there because you've just had the Tooth and Claw box set, and if, if like me, you went and split season with that with somebody, you're not then going to rush out and buy Wait the Dead. I mean, for a Space Marine player... It's like, you've done me over a little bit here, because now I've got to spend more money again. However, for an Eldar player, who knows a Space Marine friend, it's a good buy. Very similar to when I did the Tooth and Claw unboxing. Check that out above in the corner. But I split that with a friend. He took the Gene Steeler Colts. I kept the Space Marines. I'm painting them up as Ultramarines, I'm sorry. Sacrilege, I know, to you Space Wolf players, but I am. So... I had a good buy out of that because I got a Redemptor and it wasn't the easy build Redemptor Dreadnought, it was the proper one. So I did well out of that considering what I paid for it. And I think if you're an Eldar player, like I say, who wants a Grav Tank, why not? Why not do, do that? Why not? So that's my opinion on Wait the Dead. Kill Teams. Now, I was originally going to buy a Kill Team. I was going to buy the Drakari Kill Team. But then I thought, well... I've got four kill teams in the 40k armies I already own. Do I need another one? Well, I'd like a Drakari one, because it would mean I'd have a Drakari army started with the Grangs of Kamora stuff that I've done before. And I was like, well, no, I'll just buy the Witches for cheaper. So, I mean, for me, kill teams gaming is, is great. If, but if you're a 40k player, you've got plenty of models to delve into to make kill teams out of. So I suppose I'm a 40k player, so for me... The official Kill Team releases, I'm going to leave alone. Um, obviously, I did the original unboxing. Um, I know I keep pointing up there. Hopefully, they're, they're popping up. So, do go check out all the videos I've, I'm, I'm, that have popped up in the corner. But, yeah, that, that was a great unboxing. And I really like the game. And I really like it. It's great. But, <clears throat> for now, I'm just going to stick to using the models I own. Let me know your thoughts. Comment down below. So, that's Kill Team. That... And the, good, the bit of news I really liked this week was that Games Workshop have opened its 500th store. Now, we had a revamp of the stores. They're not Games Workshops anymore. You get Warhammer stores and, and you still get so much of labelled Games Workshop. Personally, I think this is great. I love the fact that the company is still expanding after so many years. Um, you know, I've been involved with the games since I was about 12, 13, 14 sort of age. You know, just starting secondary school. I have to say... The models have come a long way in that time. Price points have come a long way in that time. But it's great to know that the company is still going strong. It's a UK company, UK owned. Everything's made on UK soil. Um, I know I'm getting a bit political there by saying that, but the fact of the matter is Games Workshop is UK. 
And that, that's a big thumbs up from my point of view. So that's all the news from the Roman Community page. My news. Now, if you saw at the weekend, I popped up a video. It'll pop up hopefully in the corner now. Go watch it. I'll wait. Have you watched it yet? No? Well, watch it after you've watched this. So, I have announced that I am going to be working in collaboration with the podcast Two Drunk Flings. Now, you know who I am if you've been here before, but who are Two Drunk Flings? Two Drunk Flings are a bunch of guys who play Blood Bowl at a, quite a competitive level, especially compared to me, play in tournaments, um, and they set up their podcast roughly a year ago now. Well, actually, no, a year ago in November, I believe. Um, and they are... Look, they love their Blood Bowl and they basically in the podcast talk about their records, how they're playing, how their teams are doing and just great Blood, blood Bowl banter is the way I would describe it. If you've not checked them out, I'll pop a link down below. But they contacted me saying, would you be interested in being our kind of unboxing arm of Two Drunk Flings? And I was like, well, hang on a minute. How would that work? They said, you can carry on doing your content that you do anyway, but we'll you know, we'll work together to do bring the best Blood Bowl content to YouTube. UK especially. So this will bring you UK tournament news. Um, I will be attending more tournaments um, to show you what the tournament scene is like. Um, more unboxings of all sorts of Blood Bowl stuff from models, third party teams, um, all just all sorts of bits and people, pieces but Blood Bowl. So if you love your Blood Bowl as much as I do, you're going to like it when Two Drunk Flings are now, me and Two Drunk Flings are working together. So, and straight in that vein, I've got news on tournaments. Now, if you're a Blood Bowl player like me and you play it for fun, this may not interest you. If you're a tournament player and you're looking for a tournament and you're prepared to travel a little bit and you're, you're in the UK, here are the upcoming tournaments that Two Drunk Flings will be starring at, should I say. So, Liam and... Alan, who are the main voices of Two Drunk Flings, and then you've got Mike as well, but you've also got James in America. So there are four guys who work on Two Drunk Flings. Liam and Alan, um, I know, are going to be hitting the tournament scene hard over the next couple of months. So let's start in October. October 13th is Strangle Bowl, which I know Liam is attending. Then he's off to the Euro Bowl in Cardiff on October the 27th and 28th. But I do have a bone to pick with you, Liam. Why are you playing for Team Ireland? Hmm... Pop a comment down below if, if, if you're watching and let me know why you're playing for Team Ireland. But he's playing for Team Ireland on uh, the Euro Bowl in Cardiff. Then they have their own tournament, which I believe is in Derby, on the 24th of November, where me, as in myself, Liam, Alan and Mike will all be in attendance. I'll be filming, I'll be covering the tournament from sign-up to lunchtime to who wins to... Interviews with the guys from Two Drunk Flings so we can talk about more to you about what our plans are for the future. So make sure you stick around for that. That will be happening in November 24th, so near the end of the year. Then Birmingham is in December in Birmingham where both Liam and Alan are going. I may be attending that one. I don't know yet. Kind of is based around my schedule. But if you're into your Blood Bowl and you're tempted to go for those, I know there might be tickets still available for some of those events. I'm not kind of quite sure which. I'll pop some links down below to some Facebook pages if you wanted to go check them out. Also, make sure you check out Two Drunk Flings on both YouTube and iTunes. iTunes is where, where you can download the podcast and listen to it later. But if you've got, if you sat painting and you wanted a new podcast, say you're painting your new Dark Elf team. And when I was putting mine together, I know I was sat listening to Two Drunk Flings. So do go check them out. They're a great bunch of guys. Great Bug Bowl banter. Um, and personally, I'm really excited to work with them and I'm really pleased they contacted me and hopefully we can give you guys some great content in the future. So that's all the news for now. I'll see you next time where I'll be unboxing a Bellwind Vortex on Friday and then we'll get into Night Vault, which I'm really looking forward to. So I'll see you soon.